Okay, so now that we have um, <coughs> our LiDAR files organized into a nice group, we're going to use that point cloud data to create a couple of surfaces. Uh, one surface is going to be uh, everything, so all the elevations. In this case, as we saw, because the classification is not perfect, um, is, there's going to be some noise there, but you'll see how it'll be useful to set elevations of a variety of different infrastructure. Secondly, we're going to um, use it to create uh, the, the bare earth uh, ground elevation uh, DEM that we will use later um, in the final presentation. So, to create the surface, we simply use the layer that's in the display manager and map, uh, say create surface. Um, that's our source, automatically that pops up. Um, there's our file, and uh, our filter's off, and that's fine, that's what we want. Um, we'll filter it again in the next step, and then we want to set the parameters. Now, there are a variety of different parameters here, and they're important. The smaller you make the cell size, the more work InfraWorks will have to do to process it. Um, the larger you make it, the more blurry the surface is going to seem from an elevation model point of view. The search radius is used when filling gaps to create smooth surfaces where, you know, there are no point clouds. You can see, you know, there's plenty of areas in the point cloud that are, you know, gappy. So if you want to fill those, you want to grab, you know, its nearest neighbor, say, within a foot, and, um, you know, smooth it that way. You could make that five feet, uh, doesn't matter. The, you know, it's in a bit of an art to try to figure out what's best for you. There's normal distribution smooth, square distance smooth. Um, these are, you can look up the specific algorithmic differences um, or try it out and see what results and what works best for you. We're going to stick with a cell size of two, which is pretty manageable from an InfraWorks perspective and precise enough for our purposes. Let's generate that surface. Um, at that size, it uh, proceeds pretty smoothly. It doesn't take all that long. Um, if you make it really small, it's a because it's a square, uh, the time to take it and create it is obviously the square of the amount of time. So if this were two minutes and you made it um, half the size, you'd end up what, waiting uh, at least four minutes, uh, potentially more, and so on. So the finer you make it, the more processing is involved. Now let's add that surface to map and see what it looks like. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, you can see all the buildings. Uh, pretty decent resolution, really. The buildings are pretty sharp. <clears throat> surface of the uh, Red, Red River is sharp there. You can see the berms and the le levees that are there to protect the city from uh, flooding. At uh, when the, the, All the rivers in Louisiana obviously are prone to flooding, so that's an important issue. Okay, so that's a good surface, and we'll be able to use that.